Good morning. It's Mark Renner from Berkshire Hathaway Ambassador Real Estate. I'm here today to talk a little more real estate with you. Today we're going to talk about making the best second impression or valuable ideas to help you get your home sold. <clears throat> the secret to making top dollar when you sell your home isn't really a secret at all. I've been revealing it to my clients for years, but because it involves a little discipline and elbow grease, many people decide to cut corners. And that's when the price you could command begins to drop. Do not be one of those people. During my years in real estate, I've seen countless examples where well-considered, well-placed investments of time and a little money have dramatically improved the sales price and increased the speed in which a home has sold. So let's talk about making the best second impression or valuable ideas to get your home sold. As with the exterior, which we've talked about in, in uh, earlier videos, I found that there's plenty of interior tricks to, to to punch the right emotional buttons in prospective buyers. So in all rooms, certain minimum standards should be met. All plumbing and electrical systems should be in good working order. Repair cracks in the walls. Paint, as with the outside, a fresh coat of paint throughout the house will more than pay for itself. Remove all wallpaper. Replace missing moldings. Replace cracked or broken glass in the windows. Make certain the window and door hardware match. Install new floor coverings. Install new light fixtures. Switch out, switch outlet plates. Switch and outlet plates should match from room to room and upgrade insulation in the drafty or hot areas of the house. A coat of paint can literally make the difference between a sale and no sale. Stick to off-whites. It tends to make everything look new, clean, and bright. Be certain to paint everything inside the closets, cabinets, pantry. I can't tell you the times. You know, I... I remember a few years ago, I had this uh, listing where the kitchen cabinets were stained and they weren't in real good shape. <clears throat> so the seller said, well, Mark, I'll paint those cabinets. I said, okay. So uh, when I went back after they painted them, yeah, they painted the outside of the cabinets, but the inside were still that, they painted the outside white and the inside was still that old, crummy looking, stained, nicked up stuff. They should have painted the inside of the cabinets. So paint all the insides of closets, all the insides of cabinets, all the insides of pantries. If a prospective buyer opens a door and sees dirty walls or shelves, you've just wasted the advantage you gained by painting in the first place. So like paint, new carpeting should also be in a neutral color. This helps buyers visualize their own furniture in your house when you've taken the color out so that they can visualize and see their furniture. Wallpaper, like wall colors, makes a personal statement about the owner's taste. Buyers want to visualize what they would do with your house, and wallpaper gets in the way of that visualization. So many buyers also value good wood floors. Wood floors are so popular these days, so sand and refinish them uh, if they can be restored. If your home is short on storage space, add shelving, cabinets, and other storage items to remedy this. Taken individually, each one of these items may not seem like much, but you will find the cumulative effect of fixing relatively minor problems will be dramatic on the sale of your house. So in order to help you prepare and make the best second impression, the first impression is when they see your house from the street. Uh, good landscaping, good curb appeal. They're liking what they see. The second impression is when they come in the house, make a good second impression. 
But you want to review all these things. Get my special report, squeezing every last dollar from your home sale. Valuable ideas to get, help you get the most idea. Uh, valuable ideas to help you get your home sold and get the most out of it. Go to my website. It's scrolling below right now where we're talking. Go to markrenner.com and click on special reports. There you can order this and other special reports on buying and selling homes. And I will mail them to you or I will email them to you and you can download them. Or in order to get the reports, send me an email, mark at markrenner.com. And again, I will mail them or, or email them to you. Or just phone me, 402-690-1687. I thank you for watching today. Please shelter in place. Be safe. Have a good day.